What if regular investors like us were given the opportunity to peer into the minds of all the biggest investors in the world? Well, surprise, we actually can, thanks to the Form 13F. Although this information gets withheld from the public for 45 days, at least we get to look into what our favorite investors are buying and selling. Hey, welcome to Stock Market Mate. Today we'll talk about the 5 most bought stocks by the smart money in 2022. Before we get into it, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to help us beat the YouTube algorithm. If you're done with that, then let's get right into it. Buying a stock is simple, but buying the right one without a time-tested strategy is quite complex. So what are the best stocks to buy now or put on a watch list? With inflation worries high and the Federal Reserve tightening rates aggressively, market actions has been challenging so far in 2022. The Russian invasion of Ukraine also continues to weigh on markets. Remember, there are thousands of stocks trading on the NYSE and NASDAQ, but you want to find the very best stocks right now to generate massive gains. Number 5. Disney Disney's content and business strategy is a winning formula for investors. The stock is down 45% in the past year and investors are questioning how profitable the company's streaming business can be. But Disney has a winning strategy in streaming and content monetization. In the third quarter, sales surpassed 2019 numbers, coming in at $21.5 billion, a 26% increase over last year. It's also strengthening profitability, with earnings per share of $0.77 in the second quarter, up from $0.50 last year. These results were from a combination of factors, notably a robust presence at parks and experiences as well as Disney's powerful streaming networks. After generating no revenue from parks due to closures for several months, the parks have been proven remarkably resilient as happy vacationers return in droves. Sales from the parks and experiences segment were up 70% over last year, and Disney is investing in new rides, ships, and other experiences to expand its Disney-themed experiences. Meanwhile, in the streaming world, Disney has overtaken Netflix with the highest number of paying subscribers at 221 million, with 152 million of them signing up for Disney+. Plus. But still launching in new markets and expecting 230 million to 260 million Disney Plus subscribers by 2024, by which time it expects Disney Plus to break even. Disney's assets, particularly its large content library and popular film studios, provide it with a means to generate revenue on multiple fronts. These include theater releases, streaming, traditional media, attractions, products, and more. The diverse model drives a money making cycle and helps the company stay on top of its industry. As sales and profits continue to improve, the stock should eventually catch up. Disney shares are down 27% this year, but investors should enjoy years of gains. Number 4. Microsoft Microsoft has earned recognition for its successful turn from desktop computing to cloud computing. The stock has risen as a result. But after a recent pullback, is Microsoft even a good stock to buy right now? Microsoft squarely features in the list of companies whose services people use every day. It remains the leader in the market for computer operating systems by a wide margin, with a roughly 76% share of the desktop OS space as of June. Of course, Microsoft's business is much larger than that. The company is also present in gaming, and it offers various cloud-based services. While it doesn't enjoy the kind of dominance in these two other segments that it does in computer OS, it is one of the leaders within these markets. Still, Microsoft's robust business hasn't allowed it to escape the recent sell-off. On the one hand, Revenue growth slowed compared to last year, and its latest quarter, the fourth of its fiscal year 2022, ending on June 30, the company's revenue increased by 12% year-over-year to $51.9 billion. But Microsoft's current top-line growth rates aren't that abnormal by the standards it has set over the past decade. The company's quarterly earnings per share increased by 3% year-over-year to $2.23. Further, the tech giant remains a cash-generating machine with a current free cash flow of $65.2 billion. Overall, Microsoft's financial results haven't been that bad, despite what its stock market performance this year would suggest. The company is poised to bounce back thanks to its strong competitive edge and, of course, its booming cloud business. Microsoft is one of the most recognizable and valuable brands on the planet. Customers gravitate toward companies they know and trust, and Microsoft fits the bill. Number 3. Amazon Amazon doesn't really need much of an elevator pitch for most people. The company has a dominant lead in the US e-commerce market with about $600 billion in gross merchandise sales last year. For online shoppers, Amazon is a ubiquitous presence, as the company rose to dominate online sales, becoming the go-to marketplace for everything from books to groceries, it has also expanded into other markets. For example, it now offers cloud services, advertising opportunities, 
its own entertainment studio and streaming service, and more to add to its bottom line. Apart from being the leading internet retailer, Amazon remains the number one player in cloud computing services via its AWS platform. The shares trade at 2.5 times sales, that's ever so slightly higher than the S&P 500, at 2.3. However, while that's not cheap in traditional value sense, it's close to a 6-year low for Amazon. And that might be an attractive entry point in what could be one of the best stocks to buy for the rest of 2022 and beyond. For years, Amazon seemed invincible, an e-commerce giant that made other companies shiver when it muscled into their markets. It helped Amazon stock soar into the four-digit territory, and Amazon earnings reports often delighted investors. Every time the company hits a rough patch, it comes back stronger. Naturally, today's Amazon is a larger, more mature company than the brash internet startup it used to be. The company has cemented its position as a goliath that's unlikely to leave the world anytime soon. Number 2. Meta The metaverse refers to a combination of technologies that create a shared online space based on virtual reality. Many tech and financial experts are optimistic about the growth potential of metaverse companies, which may focus on gaming platforms, virtual reality products, back-end technologies, or other areas. No one knows for sure which metaverse platforms will take off. Metaverse optimists predict the metaverse will grow into a fully immersive alternate reality in which users can work, socialize, shop, and spend much of their time in this virtual dimension. These stocks are also an accessible way to invest in the metaverse, and many experts are optimistic about their growing value. Investors who want to get in on new tech may find metaverse stocks thrilling. While all stock investing carries risk, and it's impossible to predict a stock's future gain or loss, Bloomberg analysts estimate that the metaverse will grow to be worth nearly $800 billion by 2024, up from their $478.7 billion 2020 valuation. Number 1. Alphabet Of the 43 analysts surveyed by Refinitiv that cover Alphabet, 38 of them rate the tech stock as a buy or strong buy. None recommend selling. It's not surprising, therefore, that Wall Street's consensus 12-month price target reflects a 47% upside potential. Alphabet's share price has fallen sharply so far this year. The stock would only have to return to its level from fourth quarter 2021 to deliver the kind of gain that analysts project. There's a good case to be made that Alphabet should be an even bigger winner over the long term. The company's revenue continues to grow briskly, with Google Cloud especially enjoying strong momentum. Alphabet has multiple paths to continue growing as well, notably including its Waymo self-driving car unit. The company could be derailed by antitrust scrutiny. However, we suspect that Alphabet will emerge relatively unscathed. Even if the company was broken up, our view is that the sum of the parts would be worth more than the whole. Well, that's about it for today. If you found this video helpful, kindly click the like and subscribe button. Also, you might want to leave a comment below. We love hearing from you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, you're going to want to watch one of these two videos right here. Enjoy!